close. We've got to find a place to put down. This eco storm is getting worse. According to this, we're near the break. The edge of the world should be somewhere right below us. Oh. Why did I go on this crazy quest with you guys? Find Eco, save the world. I wanna go home. Listen, if we can find a new eco source, we may be able to help. Besides, I need to learn more about Eco if I'm ever going to become a sage. Yeah, relax, Dax. Could be worse. It's worse. Oh, eco pirates. They hunt the frontier for helpless travelers. <laughs> oh, we're not helpless. Dax, get on the gun. Aye, aye, aye sir. Terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Please allow us to relieve you of your eco. Nobody has eco anymore. No doubt why these storms are growing worse. And the world is tearing itself apart. We're on a mission to find more eco and stop that from happening. Ah, the last of the brave heroes. Well, out here it's every man for himself. And we take what we can. You get nothing here. On the contrary. It seems I have stumbled on the world's most beautiful treasure. You landed on the wrong Hellcat, pirate! Listen, this can go easy. <laughs> or hard. What happened? Um, those crazy pirates must have shot us. Yeah, that's what happened. Like it or not, we're going down. We've run out of eco. Worse than that, we've run out of world. The brink. Aside from a few dents and holes, this baby can still fly. If we can find more green eco-fuel, and if I can repair the power cells the pirates shot. What? While I work on that, why don't you boys go scout around and see what you can find? What? With all those crazy, trigger-fingered, fashionably dressed pirates running around? <laughs> no way. I'm sure you'll manage. But Jack, you can't transform anymore. I know. Something's wrong. If you can find some green eco, I'll have everything ready when you get back. You might need this. It's a fighting staff I've put together. You can even attach gun mods, if we can find any out here. Look what I found. This crystal seems to be full of green eco, and it's warm. This is amazing! What? What? Let me see, let me see! Are we rich? This crystal is acting like an eco prism. It's slowly taking dark eco and converting it into green. If I could speed that up, I've got an idea. Okay, the crystal is hooked into the fuel relays. I've added a power condenser to focus the output and a couple of loop circuits to stabilize the eco flow. If this works, we should be able to run, be able to run on this baby for a long time. Everyone, cross your fingers. You know, I have never been able to do that. Oh yeah, now we're in business. We just found a way to convert dark eco into green. Do you know what this means? Uh, it means we may be able to create other colors of eco. Maybe, with a little research and the right tools. Looks like our swashbuckling friends are at it again. We need to help that airship, Jack. Buckle a up. Impressive flying, friend. 
I am Duke Skyhe, leader of the Europan people and protector of the sacred eco. I'm Kira, and this is Jack. Thank you for helping us deal with those dreadful vagabonds. Ever since we began looking for the eco core, the pirates have increased their attacks on us. I am surprised to find anyone out here flying solo. The eco core? Yes, one of the famed and mythic sources from where all eco flows. Oh my goodness. We're yeah. happy to help. Well, do make yourselves comfortable. The enemies of the Sky Pirates are most certainly our allies. I noticed your ship is quite damaged. Let us escort you to our grand city, Europa, where you can get repairs before you continue your quest. Welcome back. I trust your stay with us has been enlightening. We're still a few answers short. <laughs> and I have questions for you as well. For instance, why are you out here on the brink? We too are looking for a new eco-source to help save the world. A noble pursuit. Perhaps we can be of assistance. It is called the Eco-Seeker. And it is said to point to any major eco source. We had hoped it would help us find the eco core, alas. They're unable to make it work. Let me try. I have certain abilities. Yes. I've heard of you, Jack. We may be on the edge of the world here, but stories do reach us. Chancellor? I can't. I can't do it. <sighs> Too much power. Darkness everywhere. If you don't mind, I'd like to study. You see, I'm... Well, I'm training to become an eco-sage. Very well. I will grant your request on one condition. That you prove to us you can protect the Seeker Orb at all costs. Agreed? Agreed. Then go and face the danger course. If, by some chance, you beat it, the Seeker will be yours for a week. Yeah! Jack? Ah, uh, buddy? <laughs> Pal? The mine? Where'd you go? What just Dax. happened to me? Dax, not now. You have proven yourselves truly worthy. As our ancestors warned us, Dark Eco is a dangerous weapon not to be trifled with. I hope with this, you can find the more fair light Eco. My Duke! Sky Pirates! Hey! Thank you all for your kind assistance. Kira, no! Kira! I'm going after them. Come on, Dax! Slow down, Jack! We just left some of my short fur behind. I've got Phoenix's ship on the scope. He's not gonna get away that easy. So it's just you and me, Jack. A gentleman's game of fox and hound. But ask yourself, which is which? Jack, don't! If it's... He's headed for those falls. We got him! Like shooting fish in a... in a... Uh, waterfall barrel. Sorry, old chap, but the first rule of gentlemen's combat is... There are no rules. Wow! Serious pirateage! It's a trap! You're lucky I like you, Jack. Normally, you'd already be a ball of flame. Shoot his engines and let him land. The hard way. Mayday! Mayday! Going down! Uh, easy. Uh, easy, don't you? 
easy, don't you? Mm, just as I thought. You have been touched by the darkness. Whoa, where, how, how did you... I know Dark Eco when I see it, son. And I could see that you saw what I saw when I said I saw it. Huh. Okay. Well, who are you? Um, good question. I know a lot, but I don't know that. What are you doing way out here? Wow, that's two. Don't know that either. Do you know anything about these dangerous robots out here? A bit. I made them to help me on the island, but they turned against me. Whoa, whoa you... you made those robots? Get something wrong with your ears, son! Yes, I made them, and each one of them is no good to the titanium bone! Well, uh, if you're good with mechanics, I mean, my ship could Listen, really... son, I took a look at that ship of yours. The fusion rods are shot to Shiloh without a little juice. Well, you're stuck here with me. Oh, please tell me you can fix the plane. Maybe, but I need a Valonian power pot, and there's only one of those babies on the whole dang island. Tell me where it is, and I will get it. It's your funeral. The pod's on my Uberbot 888. The biggest, nastiest robot I ever did build. You get his power pod, now get your flyer flying again. <laughs> well, look what we've got here. Where's Kira? She's being entertained by the captain. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Jack! Kira, are you alright? Phoenix, don't. Phoenix? What, you're on a first-name basis now? You shouldn't have come here. On the contrary. Now this monster has a chance to see what he truly is. And this little orb will show us the way. No! Both of you! Stop! We have to go get it back. And I want a truce between you two until we do. A truce. Now! Shake on it. Now, let's go get back the only hope we have. Look, I found this guy. Or, well, maybe he found me, but... Anyway, he seems pretty good with mechanics, and I think he could help us. Do you know who you are, old man? Nope. This your ship? Nice gearing. Good coupling on the steering motivator. Uh, so, where's this little device that everyone thinks can save the world? Well, well, uh, very nice manufacturing and deal with tolerances. To the top notch. You can't help you. But you said I know what I said, but I also know trouble when I see it. The kind of trouble I've been trying to avoid. You remember something? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I can see huge warehouses filled with eco. Vast and dark. Stacked as high as the eyes can see. Please, sir, I... We need to find a new source of eco to help put the world back in balance. Please. You are the prettiest face I've seen in some time. This is nothing but trouble. But for you, my dear, I'll do my best. See, this whole device has a self-fusing, locking mechanism, so not everyone can use or misuse the device. If you just time the locking clock and then reverse the polarity, presto! The Seeker doesn't have much power left. I think it's pointing to a new energy fuel cell. Maybe if we power it up, it'll work better. It's pointing directly over the brink. Dangerous, to say the least. Look, we don't have a choice. The eco storms are getting worse. Agreed. Clout, prepare to sail. But first, set us on a heading for, for the long for once for the long for once again, dear for once again, dear friends. Into the breach. Me, Barger, big time smuggler. Me, a top dog in Vardrop. Seems it's a tough town. Who are those dark creatures? Dark mutants? Uh, they show up a few months ago. Been fighting them big time ever since. I need strong fists to protect me goods. I pay you well. 
What we need are supplies. <laughs> then me give you all supplies you need. It protect barter stores from dark creatures. <laughs> ah, you best protection money buy, Jack. Uh, barter already load you supplies on ship. But uh, barter need one last thing. I got little something you want. It yours if you liven up, place. How about good old-fashioned bar ball, huh? For the road. Get place rockin', and me give you special prize. I could use some exercise. Hey, knock it off, you big bully! That's it! It's go time, baby! Oops. <laughs> uh, he did it. Well done. You are now an honorary pirate. Ah, I remember my first heady days as captain of an outlaw crew. The camaraderie, the smell of burning eco, the pillage. As a special member of this crew, you are now my official helmsman. Feel free to enter coordinates and steer the ship as you see fit. Sorry to rain on the celebration, but I've got some bad news. The eco seeker doesn't seem to have enough light ego to operate. Then we're in luck. I know of an old research station used by the Europans. It's abandoned now, but we did pick up some faint readings for Light Eco there long ago. Why didn't you just go get it? A stash of Light Eco could fund this little pirate band of yours for a hundred years. <laughs> or were you afraid of the Europans? I am many things, but I am not fearful of the Europans. Of that you can be sure. Jack! Is it worth a shot? Only one way to find out. This should be destroyed. Looks like you already found the goodies. I think this is the main control room. And these diagrams. If I can get this pub working again, we'll be in business. Hurry up, will ya? This place gives me the creeps. Hey, Dax, don't touch anything. I didn't do it. I'll keep him back, Kira. You get this thing working fast. I think I've got it. Now all it needs is a little juice. I've seen panels like this before. Bingo! You did it! No, we did it. Let's get the eco out of here. Yeah, a candy machine. Come on, give it up. Give me some grub. Hey, wait up. What the? Hey, don't mess with the fur. Yes. Soft, well-conditioned fur. Check. Body odor, no worse than usual. Small, cute, cuddly face. Ah, oh, I'm back. I'm me again. Thank the precursors. Or curse them. Their stupid stuff keeps doing this to me. Daxter. You okay, buddy? Glad you asked. This whole being tall, dark, and gruesome is a lot harder than I thought. Look at my claws. I need a manicure. And the hangnails, not to mention the headache. I think I went through the wall noggin first. Hey, are you listening to me? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah sure, sure, Dax. Uh, it was something about the, the nails in your eggnog. Now, 
that's a sweet ride. And our ticket out of here. And that baby looks fast standing still. Come on, Dax. Climb aboard and put your tray tables in the upchuck position. At least you didn't say the exits through the rear. <laughs> the night is still young. You did it! You, our first mate material, my dear. Oh, now what? It's pointing to an area near Fardrop. And another target the other way? The Seeker is missing three parts. Perhaps it's trying to repair itself. Yeah, and Kanga rabbits are gonna fly out of my fuzzy butt. The thing is broken! No, I think it's pointing to its missing pieces. Which direction do we go first? Let's head to the point near Fardrop. Prepare the- the other direction. Are you questioning my authority? No, I'm questioning your judgment. The second location is closer. I will defer to Kira. Whatever your heart desires, my sweet. Jack, what do you want to do? Surprise, surprise. Place is armored and locked up tight. I bet I can get it open. You okay? I'm all right. Nasty electronic countermeasures. Whoever runs this place, they mean business. How did you... Hey! What up? We got it, but there's a problem. It's all my fault, Jack. The memories of this place are flooding back. It turns out our friend here was, or is, a dark eco-sage. I've been so wrong, Jack, about so many things. I, I, I created this project, built the dark eco-warriors. For who? Then I, I tried to build robots to take this facility back by force to undo what I'd done. But I've failed. Who did you do this for? He built them for me. For the Europans. You son Jack, wait! Hear him out! The blame is mine. I was once the commander of the Europan Air Forces. I was put in charge of a secret weapons program to make a new class of warrior. You see, we were fighting a terrible war. And we were losing. And so you put people in the chair? No. I refused. When I realized what they were doing, I tried to stop the program. But Skyheed wouldn't hear of it. So, I took the only option before me. I kidnapped the program's chief scientist. Sorry, old boy, but in the scuffle, you took a big blow to the noggin. I marooned you on that island to hide your work from the Europans. Too little, too late. Yes, it all may be too late. Skyheed has spread the dark power to all his citizens. Every Europan is now infected with Dark Eco. Those monsters declared me an outlaw. So I became just that, and fought back. I swore to destroy them. Destroy what you are! Wait, Phoenix, please! Jack isn't a monster! I've seen what he is. No, Phoenix! If you care for me at all, you'll spare him. See, I need Jack. More than anything in the world. You can't run from what you did, Phoenix. And neither can I. You can't kill your way to forgiveness. But together, we can repair the damage we've done. How? We've got the secret weapon. A warrior that proves Dark Eco can be controlled, or at least managed. Hey! What about me? No, you're a certified crazy monster. But we may be able to help you fix that someday as well, son. Jack, will you join me to stop the Europans? Let's go put the Europans out of business. Oh, oh glad you're back, Jack. Oh, strange things afoot. Ah, you like? <laughs> that a precursor rune sphere. She good fighter, but me think you can persuade her to give it up. <laughs> I think you have something I need. Oh, 
Not much for small talk, are you? Okay, listen, I don't have time, and I'm not in the mood. How much for the sphere? <laughs> Cash don't interest me. Beat me, and it's yours. And if I lose? When you lose, I get the orange runt as a fur coat. Oh, that's right, he's gonna kick you in. Wait a minute. Deal. No, no deal. Done. Pointing back to the research rig. We must have missed something. Come to think of it, the Europan research rig was built at formation, formation. It's been... It's been one of their preserved facilities from long ago. We have to go back and dig deeper. But we must be cautious. If the Europans detect our return, they could ambush us and we'd be trapped. We'll have to leave the Phantom Blade behind and go in quietly. I'll make sure the Phantom Blade crew is ready to do their duty, Captain. We'll follow you in after you get to the core. What's that symbol? The Eco Core. At the center of our planet. This must be where the Precursors controlled it. <sighs> but it looks long dead. Maybe. Maybe not. With the right persuasion... Jack, I need a little eco-energy for this control board. That woke something up! The eco-core. The core is malfunctioning. I read a massive unstable energy buildup. It appears there's a prism at the center, which must combine and break the ecos into their colors. It seems to be out of alignment, but I think I can fix it. For what it's worth, I think I got it. But we'll need to bring it back online slowly, or else I don't know what... Reporting as ordered, Captain. And I've brought a few lost souls with me. Clout! Good show, man! You captured Skyheat! <laughs> Just some old-fashioned parlor work. A little muscle. Something that talks louder than words. Yes. Something much more persuasive. There are many more where that came from, Clout. Like I said, I'm old-fashioned. And when a captain's gotta go, he's gotta go. Uh, is it too late to be on their side? Traitor. No, you, sir, are the real traitor. You turned your back on our people and on your duty. What you have made them. What you have become! You are no longer my people! For your lack of loyalty, the penalty is death. Kill them! But leave the monster to me. I want Jack. Steady. You're the monster, Skyheed. In every war, there are worthwhile casualties. Join us, Jack. Accept your fate, as I have. This is the future. Never! Pity, Jack. You could have finally realized your true potential. Kill them all. Oh, yeah. Get down! This energy field won't last long. Let's get out of here! Run, cowards! And I will find you wherever you go! isn't over. It well might be. I've just received word that the Europans have laid siege to Fardroth. What? How did they find it? Who sent the message? I don't know. It could be a trap. But with the location of Fardroth known, no one is safe from the Europans now. And Skyheat has access to the Eco Core. Who knows what he plans to do with it? It seems Skyheat thinks we're on the defensive. Yeah, hello, brother. We are. Then now's the perfect time to attack. That's the spirit. We'll muster every last freedom fighter and pirate we can find. We've got to defend Fardrop at all costs. We'll take the fight to Skyheed and hit him hard before he realizes what's happened. The siege went badly. I've lost many friends at Fardrop. Time for payback. Skyheed will see us coming on his long-range scanners if we attack. Wait, someone's sending another message. 
use the Ropen Barracks Warp Gate. Barracks Warp Gate? I think I built that warp transport long ago. Hmm. <laughs> Skyheat locked it with an activation code. I think. <laughs> Looks like our secret admirer just sent us the code. Ah! With that code, you can drop right on Skyheat's back door before his scanners can say incoming! Sounds like a trap. Well, it's all we've got. To all Freedom Fighters, converge on the Oropan Barracks! Everyone! To the warp gate, now! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! I'll eat you! <laughs> Dex, putting on some pounds. <laughs> Welcome to the other end of the food chain. Ah, I broke this one. Still hungry. Time to find some more meat snacks. <laughs> Dax, chew before you swallow. I've got to go back for him. There's got to. He was like huge. Daxter or whatever he is can take care of himself. All right, cut it off, cut it off. <laughs> That'll keep the rest of them out. What the heck happened to you? Oh, nothing. I just turned into a huge, slobbering dog eco-monster who has even worse B.O. than I do! How's your day been? Great! Now I've got two monsters to worry about. Comes with the territory. So what's the plan? I'm gonna find a way to take out the long-range sensor array. That should let Phoenix get his ship through. You boys need to find and destroy Skyheed's weapons control system so you can get your gun up and working. Think you can do that? Hey, we're the demolition duo, remember? It's over, Skyheed. <laughs> He's drawing on massive amounts of Dark Ego! You are too late! The Eco Core is now mine to use as I will. With it, my armies will grow stronger. Europa will not only survive, it will rule the world! Enough! This has gone too far. You fool! We are only just beginning to see what Eco can do to us. Ruskin, you were the one sending us messages. Don't make me kill you, my duke. There is still a chance to undo this madness. Yes, I helped them. I cannot live with what you have done to us all. Then, you will die with them! Now, it is your turn! Do something, Jack! Time to tame the beast. Is it over? With enough power, even you cannot challenge me, Jack! No, oh, great. Smart move, Jack. Hey, hero. Need a ride? Phoenix is getting good at catching jumpers. Phoenix, Skyheat's on the move. He's headed back to the Eco Core. You'll need a good ship to match him. Take your pick from the flyers in the hangar. Thanks. Try to keep up, you old pirate. And Phoenix, keep Kira safe. <laughs> we'll stay close, Hotshot. The Phantom Blade has it in her. Just watch your six. <laughs> Looks like you boys need a lift. Phoenix, what are you doing? Sorry, old boy, but we can't have Sky Heat double dipping from the Eco Core all day. Besides, if I don't show you up, who will? Phoenix, no! There's no other way, my dear. I started this, and I damn well can finish it. Jack, it was great flying with you. Keep Kira safe, will you? Now, Sky Heat, or whatever you become, see if you can take a blade to the heart. Ha ha ha! No! Phoenix! Well, pluck my whiskers. He did it! The behemoth is damaged! Which means it can be destroyed. Here I come, Skyheed. This is for Phoenix. Look at that! 
hear that? The core is in balance again. Everything's in the green. The prism is aligned, and the core is channeling energy. Soon, eco-vents around the world will start flowing again. If only Phoenix could have seen this. He was a good man. He certainly was. Phoenix sacrificed himself for us all. My readings show a huge reduction in storm and quake activity in all directions. And the instability is dropping fast. Whoa! Kira! You just... Channeled eco-energy! You may be turning into an eco-sage, my girl. Big deal. When I get really riled up, I can turn into a massive 15-foot monster. <laughs> More like 8 feet, but uh, I like your short and orange, pal. And so do the ladies. Castaway, what is your name? People called me Tim. Well, Tim and I have been decoding these symbols at the core. That circle inside our planet was attached to other energy lines. And a big one points out over the brink. Which means... We've got some exploring to do. Who knows what we'll find out there. I say we go partake of the love and gratitude right here. Out over the brink, huh? Could be a grand adventure. If I can find a partner willing to keep up. Well, since we're already way out here... I wasn't really planning on taking a vacation. Say, you guys wouldn't be planning something without me, right? Next time, I want to vote! Oh, sure, Dax. All in favor of going on a new adventure, raise your hand. Two to one. Done. You lose. Whoa! Whoa! You're lucky I didn't go monster on you just then. That really got me upset. Okay, fine. We'll go on another adventure. But this time, I'm bringing a bot bag and some magazines. And maybe that sexy pirate chick. Oh, and a seat cushion. It hurts my tail to sit that long. And a few more snacks, hence the barf bag, and a high tensile grooming comb for my luscious dark monster fur. And don't let me forget my poogie precursor bear. Can't sleep without it. And a boatload of gas pills. Oh, you guys won't be able to sleep if I don't have those. <laughs> ah, yes, I almost forgot. I'm bringing that cool precursor game system Tim built for me. And the racing game Jack X. And my whisker trimmer. Hey, you got any grubby gum? It helps pop the ears when we're landing. 